so guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once we're on this, I'm going to show you two methods and how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to repair. If you do not see start to repair in this list, you want to click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on start to repair. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC. Wait for this to load. Now if that worked, that should automatically take you into Windows and then this should now fix your problem. If that did not work, it's going to say something like start to prepare could not fix your PC. You want to click on advanced options when that comes up, which will now take you back to here. Now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and I click on enter. And now you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, we're now going to type in chkdsk space c colon space forward slash f space forward slash r. If your Windows drive is a different letter, then just replace the C with that letter. But it's most likely also going to be C for you. So now you want to click on enter. It's now going to start running this scan as well. Wait for this to load. Again, I'll skip the video to when the scan is completed. And now once that's been done, we're just going to close out of this. Now you want to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.